Hey guys, welcome back to a long anticipated, long awaited next episode of Summit Life. Here we are, we've been a little MIA because we took a family trip to a family wedding up in Alaska, which was fantastic. Huge shout out to all of our Alaskan fans. That place is crazy. It's a whole different world, awesome, but dang, you guys got a lot of mosquitoes. But we're glad to be back, and we are so busy, we've been playing catch up, and we have a huge day ahead of us today. So Faith and I have been waiting a long time to film this video, we just haven't had it pan out, but it could not be a better time than now, because our good buddy James just bought two brand new Lamborghinis, and we finally get to get our hands on his entire fleet and get them all cleaned up in detail today. Yeah, they definitely need it. We, I saw his newest car that a couple days ago and it's uh, pretty dirty. It's pretty dirty and he's got construction next door so everything's dusty. Yep. So we got a long day ahead of us. I think we're doing six to eight cars. Six to eight cars, that sounds about right. Man, so not only do we have an entirely full day of detailing, we have an entire full week of clients' cars here for wraps. We actually are fully stacked. We have a 996-911 right there that came in to be unwrapped, that's ready to go waiting for the client. We have my buddy Braden, South Valley Photos R8 here, ready for a full color change wrap. That thing's gonna be sick. And then we have a 997-911 for a full color change wrap. Oh man, not only is it gonna be a really busy day, it's gonna be a really busy week. Let's go. Oh, you guys ready to go? We're ready. All right, let's roll. We got Mr. Sal here because he wanted to see Oscar. We're heading down Parley's Canyon. I'm kind of excited because it's been a really long time. Actually, I haven't seen like half of James's new cars. Yeah, you've missed most of them. I've missed most of them, so I'm really excited to see. I don't, I don't know which ones he'll have there for us in detail, but I know it's gonna be a really long day, which is why I'm really, really excited to say that this video is sponsored by Built. Now, if you guys haven't heard about Bill Bars, you've clearly been living under a rock because they're pretty darn good. I've been going to the gym for actually probably four years now. It's four, one of my favorite years. things to do. And I am very adamant about getting the protein I need after every workout. And I'm also very adamant about eating something that tastes really good. She's so, so <laughs> Bill Bars are kind of made for me. Another reason why I love Bill Bars is because they have high protein, they're gluten free, and they have a low calorie nutrition profile, which, for someone who's turning 30 this year, it's very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill Bars are known for their amazing taste, which I have come to love. They have 18 flavors. I have not yet tried them all, but I hope to. Six of them are brand spanking new, but by far my favorite, I'm a coconut guy. Today, I actually have just the plain coconut one, which is my favorite. There's also coconut almond, which is a very, very, okay, very close okay. second. But we all know chocolate mint brownies the best. Now, if you're sitting there and you're like, I don't even go to the gym, that's okay because they're still a really tasty nutritional treat. Go check out their website. They've got all 18 flavors listed. You ready to go? Now I am. I got all the nutrition I need to detail. <laughs> Let's do this. Ah, looks like he left the winter beaters outside. <laughs> you ready to see Oscar? <gasps> you ready to see Oscar? It's a sweet reunion. Hey, we're here to detail your cars. Uh, this is a great service. We can make this uh, all the time, right, Oscar? <laughs> the cars are a little bit dirty. Just slightly. Just sorry. a little bit. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Well, I'm going to blame Oscar, though. Lo and behold. We got every color of the rainbow in here. Jeez. Dang. All right. So we got a full house. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, point one, the smart car. <laughs> we need keys. And we need oh, I come bearing Baby. gifts. Do gifts just, of keys. We just pick one and. <laughs> oh, 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 nice. Wow. All right, key for the Urus. Key for the blue Aventador. Key for the pink. Key for the, the brand new Mercy. Last but not least, we got the bug. James is leaving. Have fun, be safe. With, thanks, Dad. Thanks. See yeah. you later. Have fun at work. All right, shall we get sitting up? We got a lot to do, yeah, so yeah. All right, Clayton, power wash the floors. We're ready for the Bugatti.
am sweating, but we got the Bugatti done. We washed the exterior, we did the wheels, the door jams, the wheels were really dirty. A lot of dirt came off this car actually. All this dirt came off, but we got it all clean. We steamed and conditioned the leather seats. We did the windows, vacuumed. This thing is good to go. Good. So I need you to pull the Mercy right here, nose forward. Okay, boss. All right, you guys, time for the Mercy. I'm gonna show you how to actually start a Mercy Lago because they're pretty unique. The first obstacle is getting in. We're in. So here's the old key. So what you do is you put your foot on the braking clutch, you put the key in, turn it to power only, press the immobilizer, hold it, beeps at you, then you're good. Then the e-brake is actually on the left side. You wanna lift it up, push the button up higher, down. Then we're good to go. I love this color. Another tight squeeze. Ooh. Yeah, that was tricky. I definitely <laughs> did not want to crash the Mercy into the boat. No, that wouldn't be a good day. That'd be the worst possible, well, I guess maybe the wide body into the boat. Um, any car crashing today would be terrible. Yes. So you want a Mercy. I, ever since Clayton and I went on a rally in New York and we saw a black wide body Aventador with bronze wheels, that is my pinnacle. That is my goal, <laughs> my dream car. So I'm pretty jealous of James. So Faith brought up a great point. The Mercy Lago is a absolute dream car of mine, but we did go on a rally when we first started dating and we were in downtown New York City and we saw a completely murdered out Liberty Walk Aventador. It was a coupe, not a roadster, but it had gold wheels. So it looks like you're about done drying. So what's next, boss? Mm, do the wheels. What do you think, Sal? We doing a good job? Clean the wheels, tire shine, we cleaned the exterior, we did leather, uh, steaming and conditioning. Last Clayton step is doing the windows. This, this car is all sorts of mixed match. We got perforated leather over here and smooth leather on this side. Very interesting. Two cars down, three to go. All right, so we're playing musical cars. We're actually gonna do the Eurus next so that we can pull it into the garage because the sun is overhead and it's hot. So James just picked this up. It's Post Malone's Eurus, which I think is pretty cool. Well, I assume you want one? Yes, how did you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a pretty easy guess. I'm, these get so much crap because everyone says that you can just get a Q8. What is the, uh, the Q8 RS? RS Q8. But I'm sorry guys, I'd way rather have one of these. These are just so, they're so It's literally just a beast. Uh, All Lambos are. some of Post Malone's magic card wrappers back here. I love it. He's a big Magic the Gathering fan. He's a big nerd and I like it. 
Oh, all right, we got three down and uh, three more to go. And I, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm very, very sweaty. Man, that is a good looking Urus. I think we did a pretty good dang job. I think so too. All right, what car is next, boss? Pink. Pink? Yes. Okay, you want to pull it up? Sure. It's hot. Dang. I want this one too. This car fits you, I think, the best out of every car you've ever been next to. Don't say that, that gets me excited. Well, I think you need a pink Aventador. Okay, I think that as well. Don't you agree, buddy? Sal, you're a mess. Fourth time's a charm. don't mind cleaning cars when it's cars like these. Yeah, it definitely makes the day a lot easier. A lot more bearable. I'm very curious as to how much water weight I've lost because man, it's hot. <sighs> James, why don't you have a pool? That's yeah, the James, real question. Get on that pool game. <sighs> man, got it washed. Dried, vacuumed, steamed, leather conditioned, and windows. Dunzo. You did windows already? Yep. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see. Well, window Little ninja. Window ninja right here. Last but not least, the OG Aventador. I think I think Sal should just wash this one on his own. What do you think? Yeah, all he's been doing is just laying in the yeah. corner. Yeah. Come on, Sal. Man, Sal, you've been working hard. I think you deserve a break. I'll take over. I got this, buddy. Yeah. Are you checking out your work, buddy? You did a really good job on this car. Nice job. Now we gotta take all of our equipment and put it back in the van. That does it. Got a nice group of clean cars for James when he gets back. Feels so good to have a clean garage, four clean cars, oh, five clean cars. But you know what feels even better? Being done. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of sweaty work. But we are done, we need to go refuel, we need to go maybe take a quick shower, and then we need to get to work on those two wraps I mentioned at the beginning. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Okay, shut her up. There we go. Until next time. Let's give Sal a full round of applause for the good day of work he gave us. Nice job, buddy. You deserve a lot of peanut butter when we get home. So the work doesn't end here, but it does end for you guys. We're gonna head back up to the shop, get started on those two wraps that we've got this week. 
So like always, thank you guys so much for watching yet another one of our videos. We're very appreciative of everyone who watches our videos. Make sure though, you click that subscribe button because we have a really fun video coming shortly. We may or may not have bought another addition to the garage, so you definitely don't want to miss that video, but we will see you there. Peace. Bye.